Hey there, it's Julia from Crocoblock. You know we love you and we felt your pain, so this tutorial will show you how to build a relationship with the help of listing grid widget and a bit of post query magic. Even more, we have an ace in the hole, grandparent and grandchild relations. So kids, that's a story of how I met. One more useful feature of Jet Engine plugin. Moreover, you can build hierarchical chains using several custom post types. As the result, you've got the related post from any link of this chain. Isn't that cool? So let's dive in! We are going to create a website with events. To do this, you need the following elements. Custom post types, listing items, post relations, single templates, Pages with listing grid, but the last not the must, just for convenient website navigation. As of right now, I already have the custom post types and listing items created. Also, I've added four pages, one for every post type, with the help of the listing grid widget. If you wonder how to build the custom post type and listing items, check our tutorial How to Create a Listing Grid Jet Engine plugin on our YouTube channel. Let's check what I have. There are four post types with posts added. I'd like to create the relations between them in the form of hierarchical chains, so we have the custom post types from the greatest to the least. Events guide, events types, event styles, and events. My plan is that when we click on the local events, I move to the listing grid with different events types – concerts, festivals, kids, parties. And here below are the different event styles like marketing, cooking workshops, lounge, disco parties, rock, jazz concerts, and etc. When I click on the workshops, here we see the different workshop styles. Click on cooking, all available cooking workshops appear, for example, workshop how to cook Ukrainian borscht or classic golubtsi, etc. And below you see the check events, so you can click on it and get back to the previous page. So, it's really user-friendly. Let me show you how we can do this family tree in the events example. As we already have the custom post type, I will create the relations between them. That's why, open dashboard, Jet Engine Relations, click Add New. Here you may see the general and advanced settings. Proceed to the general settings, fill in the name, event guide to type, choose the parent post type, event guide and child post type, events types. Relation type is one to many. There is no parent relation here, so we leave this field as it is. Below in the advanced settings, you can add Metabox to the post page editor if you want. I have it toggled on by default. Save the changes. Cool, one relation is set. Great start though. Then add new relation. Fill in the name, event types to styles. Then parent post type is the event types and child is event styles. The relation type is many to many. Now it's the right time to add the parent relation, that the events guide to type. The third relation is event styles to events. The parent post type is event styles and child is events. The relation type is one to many. Choosing the parent relation here events types to styles. Now we are moving to another part of our video, adding the relations to the posts. So let's open the events types post type, click on the post. On the right side of it, you see the block with the relations. Here you can set the parent relation posts and the child ones. Easy as ABC. Just start typing the title of the parent post. For example, local. Choose it. Below we set the child posts. Type in the title and once it appears, click to add it. Repeat these steps for every post in your post types. Yeah, I know, it takes time, but the result is worth it. Well, I did it. I set the relations for all the posts I have in my post types. Now we are going to manage how our page with events would look like. This could be done in the single templates. For this, you may use the Jet Theme Core plugin or Elementor Pro Theme Builder. Let's go! Follow to Crocoblock on the dashboard, click on My Library, click Add New, select Single Template Type, give it a name, 
click Create Template. The third thing you need to do here is to set the proper conditions. You may find them in Settings menu. Click the Conditions tab. Select Singular as General option. Then Post Type as Singular. And choose the post type you are working on. In my case, that's the Events Guide. Then follow to Preview tab and in the drop down menu choose the needed post type, Events Guide. Here, the Select Post field allows you to choose the certain post you want to preview the changes on. We are on single template of Events Guides. Let's add the dynamic fields from this post type. Fine, drag and drop the dynamic field widget, metadata as a source, then title from this post type as meta field. Then add the dynamic image widget. Choose the needed picture from the specific post type. Now I'll add the heading widget in order to separate the different post types visually. So I'll type in the event types here while I'm going to show this post type below. Okay, we've done with our jet engine routine and proceed to the cool part. Moving on to the listing grid widget, choose the event types listing, adjust it to your taste and needs, and now the holy of holiest option is post query. That is what makes our relations alive. Hit add item button, choose the post and author parameters type. Remember that the event types is the child post type regarding the event guides. That is why we should get children from this post type. Type in the macros. Related children from event types. Use a divider in heading widgets. And we are going to event styles post type. Drag and drop the listing grid widget. Choose the event styles listing. Customize it. Proceed to the post query. Choose the post and author parameters type, reminding you that we are on the single template of the events guide now. Here, the events guide is the main one, so his child was event type and the grandchild is the event style. That is why we should get grandchild now. Type in the macros, get grandchild event styles. Cool, we've done with one template. Three left, remember the hierarchy, so what's next? Now we're going to work with the event types. I'm hurrying up a bit while you already know how to do these steps, because it's our jet engine routine. Click Add New, select Single Template Type, fill in the name, hit Create Template. Let's set the condition in Settings menu. Select Singular as General option, then Post Type as Singular, and choose the needed post type. In my case, that the Events Types. Follow to Preview tab, and in the drop-down menu choose the post type event types. We are working with the types, so I'm adding the dynamic text and image widgets and choosing the event types post type as a source. Add in the heading widget as well. Here on this template, I'd like to show the event styles. So, fine, drag and drop the listing grid widget, choose the event style listing and customize it. Proceed to the post query tab. Styles is the child post type of the type. So the macros would be typed the following way. Related children from event styles. Cool, almost the same steps would be done with the creation of the event styles template. Create a template. Add dynamic widgets. and heading as well. And go ahead with the listing grid. Customize the general settings and proceed to the post query tab. 
Here, the events are child posts of the event style post type. So that macros is related children from events. Great. And the last single template we need to do is the pure events. Here, I'd like to add several dynamic widgets to show the details of the event. Apart from title and image, I'd like to add the date and time, place and price, and related event styles. Basically, the idea of this single template is to show to which style and type the event belongs. So here, use the heading widget once again, then listing grid widget, choose the event styles listing. So here post query is related parents from event styles, while we are on the child post type event, and the styles is the parent one. Repeat the divider and heading widget step and the listing grid with types and proceed to the post query. Here on this single template, the types is the grandparent post type in relation to events. So the macros is get grandparent event types. That's it. Wow, we've done a lot as of right now. Remember our checklist? Let's go over these elements. Custom post types, done. Listing items, done. Post relations, done. Single templates, done. And pages with listing grids, done. Flawless victory. It's as easy as point and click when you are using a tiny hint. When you are creating a single template for the certain post type, keep in mind that the relations should be set accordingly to this particular post type. That's really crucial when it comes to setting the macros. As here, we have the single template of the event, Ukrainian Borsh. Its parent is the style of the event, cooking workshop. And its grandparent is the type of the event, the workshop. Or here, when I open the single template of the event guide's post type, below is the child events types, and the next is the grandchild event styles. One more time, rock in Kiev is the event post type. Its parent is rock, which is from the event styles post type. And its grandparent is concerts, which is the events types post type. Once I click on the concert event types, I have here the different styles of these concerts. Remember that the relations are set from the backend, and macros is put on the single template of the custom post types in Elementor Page Builder. Let's have a look what I have. That's all folks, may the crocoblock power be with you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorials, remember to hit that subscribe button. See ya!